One of the most important technologies emerging in the world right now is the blockchain. And I'm often asked, what is the blockchain? It's not Bitcoin, it's not cryptocurrencies, it's something even bigger than that. So let me help you understand this. Whenever we have a transaction, let's imagine I've got a little black box and I want to give this little black box to somebody else. I'm, it's a product, it's a service, I'm selling it to them in exchange for some kind of value. They're going to pay me for it. In the past, we needed somebody to record this transaction for us. I wasn't just going to hand over the black box to somebody else because three weeks from now they would say to me, well, you didn't give me anything uh, and I wouldn't be able to prove the transaction had happened. So we need some kind of proof that this transaction has happened. And so what we do is we ask a third party, somebody who's not you and me, to take this black box, re record the serial number, uh, record the value, and then they pass it on to you. You give them the money and they give that money to me. This is how credit card transactions uh, happen. This is how banks work. And essentially, this is what banks actually do. But it's, it's actually any transaction from insurance companies to credit card processing. There's that middleman, the, the bank is the, the person who keeps a record of the, the transaction. And if there's a dispute later, we can both go to the bank and the bank will tell us exactly what happened and verify it. We trust the bank to do that and both of us pay the bank a transaction fee for that service. But now in this new digital world, this interconnected world, we're able to do this in a very different way. Now, instead of having a bank, instead of having a third party to verify this transaction, here's how we do it. When we want to give you the little black box, I basically hold it up and I say to everybody, 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 and I get the attention of literally thousands of computers. I say to those computers, right, guys, here's what I'm about to do. This little black box, here's its serial number, here's its value, this is what it is. I'm giving it to you and we record your details, your name and so on. Uh, we take that block of information, it's got a time and a date stamp on it, and we take that information of who I am, who you are, what the transaction is, and we put that information into a chain of information. So there's a, a chain with blocks of information in it, the block chain. Now, in the future, if you and I dispute that transaction, you say to me, I never received that black box. Or I say to you, I gave you three black boxes. Why haven't you paid me for them yet? We have to verify that the transaction took place. So we go back to all of those thousands of computers again and we say, do you remember when we did that transaction? Can you give us the information? Now, some of those computers are going to be my friends and they're going to lie on my behalf if, if that's what's going on. Uh, some of them will be your friends. They will lie on your behalf. They'll say, no, we didn't get anything. Um, uh, some of them are going to have been asleep. They're just going to go, what? We don't know what happened. Uh, but seriously, in, in a thousand computers, that's going to be one, two, maybe three. We're going to get a 99.9% .9 accuracy from everybody else saying no, we saw what happened and here are those details. So it's going to be very obvious what happened and nobody's going to be able to dispute it. Now the interesting thing is there's no middleman there. Everybody who's storing that information in their blockchain is doing it for free, there's no transaction costs, and they're doing it for everybody else. Everybody's doing it for everybody else. We don't need a middleman. Let me be clear about this. We don't need the banks. We don't need the insurance companies. We don't need the agents and the middlemen in the system. Now, blockchain is going to become the basis of any transaction that we have. Already, people have recorded their marriages in the blockchain. No more marriage registers. No more going to court to register your marriage. It's recorded in the blockchain. Uh, we could record any transaction we like in the blockchain. Some governments are starting to use the blockchain to put out government tenders. Imagine that the, the way corruption will disappear when all of these things are transparent, are open, and everybody's recording the information. And of course, blockchain is coming to payments and foreign exchange transactions and any transfer of money 
uh, that we have in the world. This will remove banks from the system. Now, banks, of course, are, are recognizing this and are trying to get in on the blockchain action. The Australian Stock Exchange has already started using the blockchain to record share sales. Uh, and there are, is a consortium of, of large banks around the world who are working on their own blockchain technologies. I'm not sure that those are going to succeed because the point of the blockchain is it has no middlemen. It doesn't have these institutions in the system. It is distributed ledger systems. And that really what is what the blockchain is, a distributed ledger system for recording transactions. Bitcoin is one example of how we might use blockchain to actually replace existing currencies. But blockchain is much bigger than that and has a much, much bolder vision of a future where the recording of transactions happens in a vastly different way. This is one of the biggest innovations in the economy since the invention of money itself. And it is going to revolutionize the world. You have to get your head around it. This isn't just for banks, insurance companies, and credit card processing. This is for anybody who uses money, who has contracts, or makes transactions. Everybody, in other words. You have to get your head around blockchain, and you need to watch what the implications are for your business. And for some of you, there's the opportunity to get ahead of the curve, to get a competitive edge on everybody else in your industry. Don't ignore blockchain. It is the next big thing.